Hi guys, welcome to your April 2021. This is going to be the What Are They Telling You Timeless Reading Week 1 for the beautiful sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hi, Sag. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam, bams, and hello to my members. Everything you need is below. Let's jump into this. Sagittarius, um, the person that is connecting with you is definitely looking at you as their divine feminine or masculine counterpart. Okay. Queen of Swords energy is in the actual reading. King of Swords is at the top of the deck as the energy. Hold on, guys. Let me cut this, my other iMac off. Does not need to be on. So with that said, and looking at the rest of the energies right now, I know that you guys are going through something as a couple. Um, I get a lot of comments that are like, what if I'm not in a relationship and blah, blah, blah. Um, I tend to um, read for active connections. A connection is a connection. You don't necessarily have to be in a committed relationship to have one. However, um, I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm predicting or reading the energy from a person that doesn't know you. It, the name of the, you know, so I would say that this is definitely, now sometimes it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship, but this one definitely is, okay? So your zodiac influences, um, the first one is obviously an eclipse in Scorpio. And this eclipse actually, it's not gonna be an eclipse. Somebody had this too. I feel like that's already uploaded. It could have been Scorpio if I'm not mistaken. I believe it was Scorpio. So Sagittarius, you could be connecting with a Scorpio regeneration, the card of 32, the sum of five. And this is about stand firm in the eye of the storm. I'm pretty sure that Scorpio did have that. And your other challenge or influence is negotiation. I do believe that Capricorn had this last week. Somebody had this last week. Rise to challenges as a new path opens. Um, it could have been Libra, actually. Somebody had this. Um, 27. OK, the sum of which is nine, which is very, very interesting here. Eclipse. Now, a lot of um, zodiac signs have been getting eclipse energy. I believe so far the only two zodiacs that have not gotten any eclipse energy this week of what you have seen at this point that's uploaded is Cancer and Capricorn, actually, which is very interesting. So. There is definitely an eclipse. Now, again, eclipses are symbolic for growth, rapid change, both externally and internally, okay? Um, sometimes you need to embrace those opportunities that are coming your way, and other times you need to allow the energy just to do what it does so it can eclipse people, places, and things that no longer are serving to you out of your life. Do you understand? This thing gets constantly screwed over. So with that being said, it looks like you guys are going through a change, regeneration and uh, negotiation right now. So you've just overcome a tremendous um, challenge. The first card w w describing what your person isn't telling you is Ace of Cups. So they obviously want a brand new beginning. They're in love with you. And regardless, they are standing firm. And they want to rise to the challenges, but let's see what they're saying about you and what they're not telling you. So there is a fear here, and albeit it could be a fear that um, they put their that, that self-imposed, but they're afraid mentally um, to either say something. We're going to clarify that because um, although they are in love, there is this mental fear um, in the heart place. They could be mentally afraid or they feel to, to trust in you or they feel like you are holding back and you're the one that's not stepping into this correctly. In the heart place, we do have the two of pentacles. There is more than one level of you guys' life or area of your life that you're juggling, Sagittarius. And your partner is saying, I understand that, but there's a certain way in which they want to be carried. Um, and for some strange reason, they don't feel like you are necessarily stepping up to that. We do have, again, the king and queen of the same suit. This is divine feminine and masculine energy. She is logical. He is the same. He knows what he wants. She is very nurturing, but she cuts through the crap. And maybe it is what they're saying is, is they want you to cut through this, this, this cut through the malarkey. 
because then we have a fluctuation with emotions in the moon. So when we put this one together, it could be that they are saying that you are afraid to really step into this connection the way that you should. And um, your feelings are constantly up, up and down and ebbs and flows with um, the way that you feel. And they're afraid to invest in that because of this. And at the same time, you're afraid to invest in it because you're all over the place is what they're saying. And then we do have them telling you that you need to step up into the higher version of you. They are tired of you squandering the energy that is around you, Sagittarius. They're feeling like they are in love with you and they want to give this a chance. Now, um, there is a, some type of storm that is brewing. Um, they're standing firm. Um, on this, they want you guys to start over and they want you to rise to the new challenges or rise to challenges as a new path opens. I'm not sure exactly what is opening for you guys, but maybe they obviously they're saying that they want a new start. Now, your zodiac influences again is uh, eclipse energy in Scorpio and eclipse energy in Gemini. OK, um, regeneration and negotiation. Once again, it's been a challenge to regenerate to start over, um, to um, rise and stand firm in the eye of the storm. And um, this is definitely negotiation. Someone does it better than someone else. And this is about um, attainment. They want to attain and, and you know, achieve this negotiation, if that makes sense. We're going to um, go ahead and go and then introduce to you the romantic intentions. And, oh, wow. Look what's at the top of the deck. The top of the deck, they're they're like, I'm going to shuffle again, but I just want to show you. That's at the top of the deck. Wedding bells and proposals. So I don't know whether they want you to stop playing and go ahead and marry them. We're going to go ahead with the romantic intentions right now. They are in love with you. Um, your reading has been the first reading at the end of week one now. Um, of the ones that are being uploaded today that has a ace of cups so sagittarius wow sun moon rising and venus by the way clarify ace of cups for me faith and destiny so things will work out in the end they have faith in you guys as love and they have faith that things are going to work out in the end now the question is is that when did it end because i don't see um the ending here what are they afraid of? Ah, you guys have been together for a long time. It could have been um, a, a a relationship that has stood the test of time uh, in some shape, way, form, or fashion. Um, you've been together. If it wasn't childhood love, like six and seven, or you know, first grade type stuff, puppy love. This definitely is indicative of a situation where you met when you were teenagers or you met when, you know, from where you are now, you feel like you were a child, even if you were in your early 20s. If you're, you know, in your 30s now, you're like, that's eons ago. If it's been 20 years, obviously, you know, even if it's 10, you feel like you're a different person. So right now, um, it could have been some things that have went on Sagittarius with you guys in the past. But there's a fear here. Um, hopefully, the next level of clarifiers clarifies that or I may have to go back in with another tarot deck because it will be clear to me. But the childhood love clarifying that a uh, could be the reason why they are afraid to mentally let go because this is a relationship that um, has stood the test of time. So I think I understand that. Um, it just wasn't clear to me in that moment. I think that's what they're saying. OK, the two of Pentacles is the gate is closed. It's not the right time. So there's something and that's been coming out a lot. I just want you to know that the, it's not the right time. It's been coming out. Now we're going to go in with twin flame messages um, that this is an accompanying deck to this um, this particular love oracle. And we'll see if something about not the right time comes out that came out in the Capricorn video a lot. But that was a beautiful, beautiful reading. If you're connecting with Capricorn, go and check that out. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. There's been some issues on social media, watching, commenting, and stalking. Um, the Queen of Swords does not play that, but I knew that there had to be some type of connotation. She is not playing that. She's cutting through the BS. Your partner, Sagittarius, is definitely feeling like they're not playing these games with you on um, social media. Um, and they, you guys have definitely been arguing about this. Clarify the moon. 
Um, something on social media. Ooh, third party. I don't like it. I don't like it at all, but that kind of makes sense, okay? Because we do have the moon. All right, this is actually the first time I believe that this card has come out. Beautiful cards in here. The first time that this has come out. So um, social media and third parties are running the show here. Top of the deck is a new life. They want a brand new life. They want a brand new start. They want to come out of all of this. Um, there's been some type of eclipse. You know, eclipse energy is not the greatest. It's not the most comfortable energy. They want you to rise up and be the higher version of yourself with this higher font energy. And I did see this too. This conflict, quarreling, and competition with that five of wands, which is under my hair font. So it could have been catching up, arguing, um, commenting, stalking somebody's page and arguing over social media, um, what was posted, how it was posted. I'm just going to pour myself some more of my tea. Um, and, you know, as it gets hot here in the desert, side note, it's going to be iced tea time. So today... When I go on dinner break, after I get done, I'm going to go and get my ice machine. I'm excited because uh, we can't keep ice in this desert. Do you hear me? You need something that make it in your house. Not on your refrigerator either because that ain't enough. I won't. Okay. <laughs> that ain't nothing to do with nothing, Sagittarius, but you understand what I'm saying. Back to the reading. I'm sorry. I need my ice machine. This was definitely a blow up. There was an argument. There were there was definitely arguing about this. There was conflict, quarreling, competition. There could have been two people arguing. I feel like two females here um, over um, a male Sagittarius about situations on social media or a confrontation from one male Sagittarius, one female Sagittarius to a male Sagittarius about who is this person? Why is she doing this? You know, there's these little Facebook rules and why she commenting on your stuff. Why she liking everything? She ain't saying nothing, but she like everything. It just is stupid. And I feel like your person, Sagittarius, if it's some shape, way, form or fashion of what I just uh, just explained to you, they feel like regardless of all of this, they're in love with you and they have faith in your destiny. You guys have had a you know, childhood romance or childhood love been a part of each other's for each other's lives for a long time. Your parents could know one another. Your families could know one another. And you guys have been together so long. OK, I like that. Um, you guys have been together so long that it's hard for them to even imagine life without you because you're such a huge part of their life. And there's something that just happened and it was in Scorpio. So it was in the water sign. So it could, you know, when eclipses in Scorpio, even full moons in Scorpio, that's going to happen at the end of this month take place. It's rough. It's a rough type of energy. Um, things come out, secrets come out, you know, and it, it's hurtful. This person um, that loves you, Sagittarius, is saying, you know, you've already cheated on me. You know, you've already introduced third party. You act the fool on social media. You know, you have closed your heart. Um, I want you to know, Cross Watcher, though, whose energy I'm reading. The gate being closed is your divine protection. There's something that Sagittarius still needs to do. You guys already know the energy is fluid and it can go both ways. So don't get in the comments going off about how it's reversed. Just say in kind that it's reversed. That's fine. Um... This is very complicated, but your person is still saying, um, Sagittarius, that they have faith in this. Clarify Ace of Cups and faith in destiny. Faith that things will work out in the end. And that's being clarified by darling. We must find balance before we can be one. So things have been off balance. Things have been so off balance between you guys. Um, it's just been one thing after another, after another, after another. The hardest things in those long-term relationships is rejuvenation, is uh, learning how to regenerate. Let me give you the official definition of that. Um, I feel that um, that's the hardest thing to do on your own, um, but it's the hardest thing to do when you're in those long-term relationships because, you know, you have to constantly find new ways to grow, regrow, to replace loss or injured tissue. Listen, listen to that. 
I mean, listen to that, to regenerate of a living organism. Think about the metaphoric, you know, value or the metaphoric or the metaphoric symbolism with of a living organism is a verb rather it's to regrow. So it's hard to let go of all of this. You got years and years of this and years of that. Um, and it's hard to grow and undergo such a huge regeneration when there has been so much of this garbage um, that has went on between you two. We do have spiritual healing, raise your vibration. Absolutely. Um, and give, give the strength. And that, I said that. Didn't I say that they want you to go and step into the higher you, Sagittarius? That's that hair fine energy. Um, spiritual healing is needed, and that's what they want you to do here. Um, it's, it's hard for them to do. Um, to It's hard for them to stick around and regenerate again. But at the same time, they want to negotiate. They still feel like you should be willing to negotiate and find balance and go into your spiritual healing, which will raise your vibration in turn, give you the strength that you need. We meet. Well, we meet in my dreams and your love is strong. So obviously you guys are a huge part of each other's lives. Um, and they really don't want to let this go, Sagittarius. But they're saying that um, there's just too much right now. Too much. Clarify, gate closed. Um, juggling too much. You could be juggling more than one area. Not paying attention to one thing. Oh, that's interesting. Not paying attention to one thing. Uh, paying more attention to the other. That goes back to fine balance. Okay. It could be too much time in the street with friends and not enough time at home. Um, and they're saying, I know you, I know you hurt. It's not rejection. I do adore you, but I can't be there the way you want me to yet. Um, they've shut you out, Sagittarius, they're saying, and they've closed the gate, although they really do have faith in destiny, but they're refusing to meet you halfway until you, um, step up and find some balance and take some accountability here. Clarify social media, watching, commenting, and stalking here. Um, they had to do turn into an investigator to follow you around or do this or do that on social media. They don't like any of that. Um, and they're coming in with trust in me. It's not like we hoped, but trust in our connection. And in the end, all is possible. Um, they really do have a lot of faith in this connection. But again, there's contingencies here. Like they're not going to deal with third parties. They're not going to deal with social media. They're not going to deal with you not doing the work. Okay. They're really coming in and saying that. Unfortunately. Yeah. Look at this. My answer is no. I'm sorry, my darling. The time is just not right. Okay. There is another thing about timing. Um, and I said that and we got what we needed here. So, um, you know, I'm really feeling like they want another chance with you. I think they're, they don't want another chance with you from the standpoint, Sagittarius, that they are the ones that screwed up. They want you to give them a real chance to do this right. Like, not give them a real chance. They want to give you a chance, but they want you to give yourself a chance, I guess, because they're feeling like, you know, you don't believe in destiny. There's a spiritual component that's just not here. They feel like you're not spiritual enough. You guys are not even not even connecting on the spiritual level. And it could have been that you guys have been together so long that they need to see major change in you. And somewhere along the line, they feel like you have taken that love for granted. So they're saying that it's not the right time because you have not found your balance and your spiritual healing. And they're saying that, you know, they've allowed themselves to be done wrong so long, Sagittarius. They've allowed you basically to let, they've allowed you to turn them into a doormat. And they're saying, no, that's it. I'm not your doormat. You've put me in third party situations. You've cheated. You know, you've cut your love on and off. You have neglected me, maybe financially, have not done what you're supposed to do. This is strong. Um, I've loved you since I was a child. I've loved you before I really knew what love was. But in order for us to move forward, something has got to give. Wow. That's what I'm feeling. I have faith in you. But until you find your balance and spiritual healing, the answer is no. 
that is very specific to some of you. So um, I have faith in our destiny, but until you find your spiritual, until you undergo your spiritual healing, the gate is closed. I do adore you, but I cannot let you back in. The gate is closed. Like I can't do this. They finally had to get to the point where they did this. Uh, they want you to rise to the new challenge. The challenge is, is that they're pulling their energy back. How are you going to rise? They want you to fight. Sort of like the Aries video a little bit, except Aries was very clear. If you're connecting with that, they were very clear that they um, were having a hard time and their cards really did come out. They're struggling between some of the things that you struggle with, Sagittarius, which is to, you know, go into loving this person or deal with your freedom. Freedom and adventure is what you seek as a Sagittarius to a certain degree. I'm not saying that all of you guys are like that. And a lot of the times it's hard for you, especially with your communication being in detriment to just come out and say what it is that it is that that you're feeling. And your quest for freedom and adventure, you know, other people, whether it be lovers or whatever that comes with the territory. So this person has kind of allowed that and allowed all of the ratchetness, but this person is feeling like they have their rise and above and they're better than this. And they really, as much as it devastates them to walk away from you until you, um, you know, really put forth a spiritual effort. Um, and I talked about this in the cancer video too. Sometimes when you outgrow somebody, you're on a spiritual level. Like you, it's not necessarily just about you've done me wrong. I'm leaving you alone. You know, people get to the point where they are tired and they want new things for themselves. And a lot of the times that's why they come to Tarot or, you know, they go to get, you know, readings and things of this nature and other forms of divination because it's like they are looking for answers. Why have they stayed stuck loving you and they haven't gotten anything out of it? So God bless this person or the cross watcher if, if they resonate with this because they they they're they're going into their spiritual healing. They've already started raising their vibration. Um and they would like for you to do the same. They want you to rise rise to challenges and create a new path. Um, you know, Aries was very specific. Do I stay, do I go? Yours is not do I stay, do I go? Yours is there's an issue here. How do you come back from that? How does this person that loves you let go of 20 years or eight years or whatever this eight is? Um, you know, something about eight here, infinity. So I don't know whether you guys have kids, something with eight here. Birthdays. How do I let this go? You know, I'm trying to be logical. I'm trying to, I, you know, they're, they're cutting through it. They're saying, you are my husband. You are my one. They're saying, I want a new life with you. Okay. But unless you uh, rise to the spiritual path, I can't do it. So again, I have faith in our love. I have faith in our destiny together. But unless you go through, undergo your spiritual healing and raise your vibration, my answer is no. Wow. Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Certainly hope that that resonated. Drop a like. It's hot in those comments and tell me who it resonates with because this is very specific to a niche group of you. It's very been very niche in the fire sign um, zodiacs. I got one more and that's Leo, which is next. Um, but it's been very like niche. It's been very like specific. You're a Sagittarius. It's Aries season. The sun is in Aries right now. So, you know, yeah, maybe this is activating you. And then, you know, the eclipse is in Scorpio for the both of you guys. So it's been very challenging to find new ways to regrow. Like, share, subscribe. I will see you guys next week or actually tomorrow over the next couple of days um, in your You Versus Them reading for April 1st through the 15th. And I will see you later on that week between the time frame of Wednesday through Sunday as I upload your week two. What are they telling you timeless readings? Bye, Sage.